What typical sound can't you stand? My recorded voice. The sound of balloons being handled. And the chance they may pop. I can't move away fast enough when I see balloon animal guys. I hate the sound of markers that are dried out. Ugh, disgusting. Text notification sounds on the radio. Car crash, tire screeching sounds on insurance ads. I had a car accident two months ago and I have a damn heart attack every time they come on. Why is this allowed? Along with emergency siren sounds? Everyone by now has complained. We all know it happens. Why aren't there stops on these types of noises? No one understands this because I'm awful at explaining it but. People talking wetly. Like you can hear the squelches of saliva when they open and close their mouth. Slug people. Taste like slug. Look like people. Old monitors and TVs left on a black screen. I can hear the high pitch whine of them that just sets me on edge. Luckily not much of a problem now. That's what my tinnitus sounds like. Each ear has its own tone so it's a cacophony of high pitched whines. I have to sleep with a fan to get some relief. My coworker's voice. Oh my god we have one of those. She sounds like a mix of Fran Drescher, Rachel Ray and Maggie Wheeler. She's so freaking loud all the time and never closes her office door. It's the worst. My sister is super loud every day and she thinks it's okay. I am an adult but we still live together. She will also holler from room to room daily. Or talk progressively louder while walking away from the person she's talking to. She's woken me up countless times. She's sorry not sorry. I know part of it's selfishness and she has a narcissism streak. But I also think she literally doesn't get how loud she is. Fire alarm chirps when the batteries are low. I have been to a few people's houses where they just let it go and ignore it. I almost went insane. Just had to tell a deaf friend that they needed to change the batteries because I was losing my sh** knowing I was the only one in the house that could hear it. Edit. I think it's just a tiny red light that blinks for low battery which is why my buddy or his roommate both deaf didn't bother to change it. My buddy has a cochlear implant but hardly ever wears it and his roommate is like 95% deaf so I feel bad for their neighbors lmao. I'm anxious as hell and a surprise door knock makes my heart race. Or. Having grown up with a parent that doesn't respect privacy. Anything that sounds like footsteps or an opening door. I still have issues with that even though I've been on my own for 6 years. I can never comfortably have both headphones in when watching something or studying. Always have to make sure I can hear when someone is about to barge in. Fork scraping a plate. When someone cuts whatever they are eating with a knife and then it kind of scrapes, squeaks. I cry a bit on the inside. Nose whistling. Even when my own nose does it. It drives me insane. Also the little smack noise people make when they're sucking on candies. Oh. And there's a certain ice formation that's like long and thin usually happens to ice pops. But can form on top of re-frozen ice cream or the like. And when you crush it. Be it with teeth or whatever. It squeaks. I'm legitimately giving myself goosebumps just thinking about that noise. While putting away dishes or putting dishes in the sink. I cringe every time glass plates, bowls bang into each other. It's such a loud and unsettling noise. Or when they produce that slight squeak as they grate into each other. People who noticeably pronounce their S's louder than any other letter. Or end normal sentences like questions. Like at the very end their voice goes up a few octaves. When someone is eating with a fork and they bite down on the fork whilst taking it out of their mouth. It gives me shivers down my spine. What about when you hear the noise? From inside your own mouth? My entire face caved in just thinking about it. E. Thanks for the gold. The default alarm sound on iPhones. I never bothered to change the alarm on my iPad so I listen to that every morning so it's become associated with a bad thing. Now every time I hear it I have a split second of Vietnam flashbacks. I have this wave of anxiety every time I hear it. It's like the feeling right before a car crash. Where this awful sensation just spreads through your body. I despise that noise so much. The fart sound leather chairs make when people sit or shift. Uh I despise leather for this very reason. There's also the weird unspoken pressure to make an intentional fart sound after the first accidental fart sound so people know you didn't actually fart. Terrible. But then you can't make one intentionally and it looks like you're just rubbing your farty ass on the chair. 
Got a seal in the flavor. Light bulbs that buzz when they are on. Oh, they hum like angels. You're never alone when you've got a fluorescent light. Styrofoam on styrofoam, or on cardboard, I hate the feeling of it too. Makes me physically cringe every time. Holy sh**, I just cringed reading this. It made my skin crawl. There is an extremely high-pitched hum that comes from CRT televisions. Hardly anyone else I know can hear it, but I cannot stand it. I have to cover my ears every time I go near them. Absolutely. Growing up I knew if any TVs were on in the house, but nobody believed I could pick it up. Just lucky or playing tricks. Such bullshit. Snoring. Currently sitting next to my significant other who is sawing logs keeping me awake. I share your hatred. People talking above average volume in a public place. I love my dog but when he starts going to town licking his junk, I can't stand it the gross wet noise. It sounds like the definition of obscene. Ha 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 that reminds me of when I would be asleep at night in my dark room but then I'm suddenly awake due to my cat licking himself. The midnight pumper. Wakes me from a sound sleep and have to clean up cat barf. The sound of my dog horking at 3 a.m. is enough to wake me from the dead. It's not even loud. Ringtones. OMG people's loud obnoxious ringtones make me crazy. My neighbor's dog's barking for 20 minutes straight at 3 a.m. Other people's crying kids in stores. As a parent to small kids, I hate it too. It is very nerve-wracking when your own kids are the ones wailing. I try to not shop when they're cranky and we work hard to not cry in public spaces. A nail hitting a phone to scroll. Chalk on a chalkboard. Not even nails. Just chalk. I hate everything about chalk. The noise. The smell. But especially the feeling it leaves on your hands. I have to wash my hands instantly if I ever come in contact with it. F chalk. Fingernails being clipped. Even my own. When people leave the keyboard sound effects on their phone so everyone can hear them texting. For me. It's pencils on paper. Nails scratching a wall, a board, literally nails on any object makes me really uncomfortable. The big loud PSSSSSS a bus makes every so often while idling or accelerating, always seems to happen right as it passes me. This just happened today, I was out to dinner at a popular bar, guy in table next to me got like 12 on the bone buffalo wings. The entire time I was there I could hear the guy next to me sucking the sauce off his fingers after every goddamn bite. Disgusting. Constant sniffling caused by a blocked nose. On behalf of all perpetually sinus plagued folks and coke addicts, we're sorry. Not really a typical sound but, ducks quacking. I have literal anxiety when I hear a duck quacking because I set my alarm clock sound to the sound of ducks quacking and now whenever I hear ducks in a park or when YouTube videos have a duck sound to bleep the swear words I feel panicked. I now hate ducks and I'm not proud of it. When I was about 7 and my sister was 17, she told me about a new word she had learned. Anatidophobia. The fear that somehow, somewhere, there was always a duck watching you. It's not a real phobia not that I knew that, just a made up one for the lols. I laughed, continued on with my day, forgot about about it, starting about a week later, sometimes when I would be playing or chilling or showering or eating or anything really, I'd randomly hear a duck quack, I'd remember the phobia, freak out, run around looking for it, could never find anything. This kept happening intermittently for a few months before suddenly stopping. I brought it up jokingly with my sister like 5 years later and she informed me that she had bought a duck keychain that quacked when you squeezed it to f*** with me. And only stopped because the squeaker broke. SMH. Sorry for the long random story. TL. Doctor my older sister made me think I was being stalked by a duck. Windshield wipers. If there isn't enough rain, moisture on the windshield that the sound is muffled, I'm not turning them on. The sound of anybody other than me pouring liquid, that and gulping as you drink, it makes me internally violent, like I want to injure somebody, but no I can't legally. Cotton being torn apart face vomiting. It took me way too long to find this, literally the worst noise on the planet. 
speakerphone on a smartphone, I share a a small office with my boss and we sometimes take calls together, in which case she uses her phone and puts it on speaker, within minutes I feel like my head is going to explode, something about the sound is physically painful in my ears and really f*** with me, it also gives me this sense of anxiety all to the point where I have to leave the room, I don't understand it, and it doesn't happen with all smartphone speaker calls, but it sucks. Honestly, the slapping sound of s hate it. It's so distracting, often quite funny I find. Get even begin to say how many times I've burst out laughing while getting f starting to think I might not be mature enough for s I get very uncomfortable if I like lay on my girlfriend's chest and can hear her heartbeat. Can't explain why. I just really do not like it. Also when someone breathing very short breaths it also bothers me. Same. I hate hearing heartbeats no matter who it is including my own. The short breaths thing gives me anxiety as I feel like they are anxious and it makes me anxious. You know when is 3 am in the morning and you chilling on your laptop per percent and all of the sudden you hear the cats outside your house screaming and doing their mating things. I swear to god they sound like a baby or someone crying. That shit is horror.